lobby upstairs, in the upper lobby, um, on the other side of that wall is a little bitty storeroom. And to get to that storeroom, you've got to come down here to the basement and actually go down a hallway right over there and go down this long, narrow hallway and through a locked door and then there's concrete steps that go up and turn the corner. A little narrow and you've got to kind of bend down because there's a low ceiling thing coming across. The light bulb hanging from the chain and at the top of those steps there's a little bitty storeroom and that's where Colonel Eldridge's chair is stored. And the room, as you can imagine, is always filled with cobwebs and dust and, you know, those kinds of things, except for Colonel Eldridge's chair, which is always spotless. No dust, no cobwebs, always clean. And several years ago, we had a, a new bellman here in the hotel and he said, I've heard that story, I don't believe it. So he took the key, came downstairs, went down the hallway, unlocked the door, went in, started up the concrete steps, bent down, and he got a chill as he was going up. And he got part way up and he looked up over the edge, and somebody was sitting in Colonel Eldridge's chair. And there was an older gentleman and he had a pipe. And he looked up and he went, hmm. Looked back down the camp of the film and scream, came running down the steps, running up the hallway, never went in there again. <laughs> so.